what the heck happened? Oh, there we go. Alright. Oh, I don't want to put that there. There we go. Alright, everybody. So, I had to start this a little early. Uh, we have a bunch of things going on, uh, such as... We were trying to square away some things with the internet that we have. So I had to start this early to try to get this in while we still have some kind of connectivity. How you doing, Puma? Um, there'll be a vlog 1.5 that'll be coming out tomorrow, so that'll help a bit. Uh, the board game Maelstrom, how are you? Pete, how are you? Uh, just had a lot going on, a lot of things happening in the, uh, realm of things. So, Down River Rick, how you doing? I'm going to do the best I can with this. I can't promise you anything. Uh, there's a lot that goes on here. If you saw the initial vi video that we did, um, what we're trying to do, and I'll ex it'll explain more in the, um, vlog of what's going on is we're trying to catch up with all the stuff from 2017 you know everything that we had going on but uh the most important thing is that that we're trying to do something old but also try to do something new so tomorrow you're going to see some videos on how to assemble kingdom death monster and also you will see a painting live video hopefully um after that um the other thing is is that we want to make sure that we got this in uh there's a couple other games that we really want to make sure that we get in so we're having a good mixture and we're having a lot of fun doing it misfit how are you game line i'm trying to to work with my new glasses okay i have actually glasses on that oh go ahead give me the dirty look i'm trying to make it a point to say it in front of my wife because oops, because she. I'm not trying to make it a point to say it in front of you. <laughs> as soon as I walk into the room, I'm wearing my new glasses. No, I'm just trying to let them know that I'm having a hard time trying to adjust to these stupid things that you well, made me if get. you've been wearing them for the last two months, you'd be all set by now. Okay, there's no win here. <laughs> So let's get right to it, okay? Uh, we are going to play the solo rules, which are right here. And I'm going to try not to butcher these. That's the main thing here. So I'm going to go to the thing here because there's a different, different order of how to play. Now, listen, I'm playing out in the kitchen here. You're going to hear all kinds of different noises and stuff like that. You know, I'm not going to ask everybody to stop their lives. So we'll do the best to, to get through this, but we'll make it fun. That's the most important thing. Dan Palmer, how are you? Um, and again, I apologize for doing this early, but due to some things that we have going on, uh, there is just no other way around it. Um, all right. So without further ado. Now... Some of the things, if you guys saw the first video, there were some things that needed to do. Oh. Hey, Leland. It looked, okay, you guys are talking amongst each other about something. Uh, one person uh, got a special weapon which gave us one prestige. Now, in the solo game that I'm playing, I'm playing the solo variant <clears throat> uh, number one. Oops. And what that is, is to see how fast I can either get to... One of the win conditions, which is here, which is 20 prestige or 80 town health. So we're going to see how that works out. Uh, let me make sure that I'm doing everything right. And okay, we did all the setup. The only thing I didn't do is pull out all the car red cards. But if I come across a red card, we're just going to discard it and that will be fine. Uh, set up the common play, so that, 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 that. I dealt myself everything. Uh, set up and equip your town play mat, which we did already. And place one and one. Place chip, place turn marker and chip marker at one, one on the bottom. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so, 
here's the way. Uh, the first thing is our res uh, effect phase. Now we have nothing to affect because we just started the game. So we can't do that. Um, <clears throat> now we're going to go into our, our um, town, town business phase. Now all this is written out here. I just want to make sure that there's no difference. Okay, the only difference is John three smart. Okay, I'll announce the difference as we go. So there we go. <clears throat> yeah, you get these this great sheet like I've showed you guys before, and it really helps you kind of just really get going um, <clears throat> and 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 go through everything. So here we go. So. I'm going to receive one action card. So I'm going to grab one action card to add to my three. It does not, oh, it has a red dot on it. Of course it does. Doesn't that just make sense? That has a red dot on it. Boy, okay, there we go. So I got informant. Play during the end turn phase, draw five action cards, choose to keep three, and give another player of your choice the two other, which we would just discard on this particular uh, type of solo variant. <clears throat> so we did that. Now it's resource production. Well, we don't have any resources to produce, so we're not going to worry about that. Auction house. Now this is a little different because in, in the regular auction house, you could you can um, open the barter, bartering to other players, and if I had something in an auction house, you can... You can auction it off to somebody. Somebody might be interested in it, and that's how um, it would go. But and this this one, what happens is in the auction house for the um, solo variant, you draw three spoil cards. You may purchase two of them for their salvage coin value. Okay, so let's draw one, two, three. Okay, <clears throat> so. Here's what I can do. I can pay 40 coin, which I don't have for this really cool war wagon, which probably would have helped me out because it was a master of everything, but can't afford that. Arnold Schwartz's Conan the Barbarian Sword. Well, once per game, the character equipped with this card may avoid death. Afterwards, remove all of their... Oh, this is 14 bucks. Can't afford that. And a chopper, which actually belonged to something else, but I still wouldn't be able to afford it. So we will discard those. So that was a completely unsuccessful auction house. Now we roll on the town event card house. Oh. Hi, Rob. I'm really excited. The game feels heavy, but that's the way I like it. Me too. Thanks for doing this. Battling brushes, amazing. Thank you. You're welcome, always. Uh, the guild, oh, I'm sorry. This particular guild is the New Federalist because we're trying to take over the world. So we're going to roll on the town event chart. Now, what happens is I'm going to roll on there and there's going to be different effects here. So hopefully I don't roll high because usually bad things happen if you roll high. So, see, I'm wearing my glasses. <coughs> And I can't see a thing, just so you know. Six. Okay, six. No effect. Okay, so that's not bad. I'll take that all day long. So we made it through the town event chart. Now the financial period. We can sell, purchase, or hire. So on E here. Okay, sell. S uh, spoil cards, action cards, town technologies, defense chips may be sold to the bank for salvage coins. Well, let's take a look. I've got a couple of them here that I really don't care about. Uh, they can escape. Well, I'm going to want to keep this one, and I'm going to want to keep this one. I have Murph Football Bomb. Okay, this one here, uh, it says, play during party exploit phase. I'm going to be able to get out of certain situations. I'll explain it when it happens. Uh, Reaver Witch Doctor. Play any time to discard a Jinx card. Okay, that one's pretty good. This Informant card I'm really not too interested in. So maybe I should sell. No, I'm going to hold on to it. I'm not going to sell anything. 
purchase, buy one any uh, one tier technology or upgrade an existing uh, technology to tier two for uh, 30 to 40, then equip it. No. Uh, purchase a town defense chip for 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, then equip it. Hire, uh, pay for non-player character mercenaries. Declare their listed assignments out loud to all players. No. Now it is the uh, part three, which is the party exploit uh, phase. Move non-player characters, mercenaries, according to party order and resolve their assignments or have them wait for the party. Party exploits. Each player has four weeks to spend. Now, we talked about this in the other video. Um, <clears throat> oh, God. I'm trying to see. Because the stupid glasses, I can't see a doggone thing. Happy wife, happy life, Rob. Oh, really? You're right. Who said that? That person's very, very smart. <laughs> Stefan said it. Smart, smart. Pretty slammed at work right now, but I will try to be active. Well, there, there you go. Thank you, Lori. Who is now a, along with Misfit, a moderator. Uh, let me explain to you the real thing, uh, Stefan. <clears throat> first off. Watch what you say if you want to eat dinner. First off. She's happy, and uh, you know what? <laughs> Some, yeah, you know what? I'm you know what? Sometimes there's just times to pick your battles. Okay, so anyways, on this uh, party exploit uh, thing, we we can use our weeks kind of like actions. So um, you get four weeks, basically, if you wanted to call it actions, you can call it actions. And some cost one, some cost two, some cost three. So. We're going to do one. Now, first off here, the first thing is, is I have this vehicle, which gives me plus two. And then Old Rusty gives me plus one, which is plus three. But I hooked on something, so it's minus one. So I'm plus two on my perks, uh, on my movement chart. So we, we put that right there. I'm, not, I'm going to try not to go down to this part of the board, to be honest with you. Now, all this stuff costs... Uh, movement which I have on the back here so I want to keep an eye and make sure that I because I'm on the other side of the board how much each particular area costs to move so as you can see on the back is a quick reference for all the symbols which is really really good and helps you uh, let's see I just got to find the thing. Well, I can look over here with these very bad glasses and see what it'll cost. Now, the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to use one of my weeks to move. So what happens is because I have plus two movement, I'm going to roll a D6. And, oh, wow. I got three movement that first time. So moving in the mountain uh, costs two movement. So it's two, and then here would be a planes, which would be just one, so that would cost me three. So I'm gonna go one, two. So what I wanna do is I wanted to try to get up there, but it'd be one, oh yeah, I can go that way, one, two. So that costs two, and then three, and that's my entire movement. So that's what cost me one week. I'm trying to make sure that I can see what I'm doing here. All right. All right, good. We're doing all right here. So now after we did that, I still have three weeks to spend. So I'm going to spend one week for to draw an encounter card. Now, because I'm on a planes, I'm going to draw from the planes deck, which is right over here. I know I had a sacrifice so you guys can see the characters a little bit better. Because I really want to show you how the crown system works when we get into trouble like we're going to right now. So I pull this card and here's what happens. First off is I am going to get, whoops, oh boy, there's a little glare there. If you see there, uh, the gold thing, which is, uh, that's how many, um, what do they call them? Uh, salvage coins I get, excuse me. So I get five salvage co coins. So I'm going to take two and three, and I'm going to add that there. But I'm going to read you some 
some things here. And this is where the real part of this game really gets good is because there's so much flavor text. Ah, Fallen Dominion Studios here to, to help me so I don't mess up too much. Because <clears throat> I will mess up. But the most important thing is to show you that these guys put 13 years into this game. And this is a beautiful and a lot of fun game. I just tend to mess everything up. And nobody else has done this live. Okay. And the couple of versions I've seen, they did a great job. And my boy Bauer did a nice job with it. But everybody else kind of goofed off and... I don't think they did a great job. So we're going to try to really do a great job for them with everything going on here. So we're going to read Barb's Building Supplies. This ruinous small town looks promising. Although the roof of the deserted superstar, superstore ahead has collapsed, it may yet contain some valuable supplies. You enter cautiously, quickly discovering it is guarded by a large band of muty, mutant scavengers. Great. With a shout, they stop sifting through the, its contents. Arrows and crossbows strike nearby <coughs> as you spread out among the aisles. Take them out quickly. Now there's a couple things here, and I'm gonna to try to bring this a little closer, and I'm sorry about the light. It's the way I got the lighting here. There's a success and fail. Next to it, it shows you the checks that you have to make. I have to make a combat check, and I have to make a mechanical check. So, first we're going to do is we are going to do... No, you didn't mess it up, buddy. We love you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check for uh, combat. Whoops, I, I didn't move that, did I? No, nope, that's on six. I remember that. So, we all, as a group here, have to pass and make sure that we pass the combat check. There's a way that we show this. Now, there's a crown system here. And the way this works is that there are crowns on each end. This in case you guys didn't see the other video. The black die is for any vehicles. So, we take a black die. And then we take all the other D10. And then we shake these guys up. And we roll them. Boom. Now we assign them, whoops, that was a five, I know it was, right, way to do it live, right? Okay, so we put a five there, and then we put this five here, because that's the yellow crown. The blue crown goes here, the eight goes here, the seven goes here, and the eight goes here. This is a pretty, pretty good roll. Okay, so then now... We have to count up successes. Now, because I have a garrison as a starting thing, I get one success on an attack. So I'm going to show that to you to make sure that you guys understand what the heck is going on here. And try not to show that into the light. There we go. So now all we need is four successes. So, 9, 11. So we have an 11. So that is one success because it's anything over 10. Okay, things go in domination of 10s. Oh, Jason Miller, stop. We saw him hit is it cheating already. <laughs> okay, so things go in domination. Once we get past 10, then we have got one success. Now, when we roll these dice, these are the new the new numbers that are needed to make a success. You have to roll underneath that number. But if you go over 10, then the excess, which would be one, we would need we would need to be under eight for a second success. So we got two successes out of that. Okay, so now we have three successes because of our garrison. Now here we've got a big number here. Nine uh, 7 which is 16 and that's about it so we pass 10 and then the new number with the remainder okay is 6 we need to be under 7 in order to uh, get a second success which I think I have this right now so that means we got our five successes now we can keep on looking and see how this would work out. The number to be under is eight. Five and three is eight. 
if you tie the number in this, well, I couldn't have rolled it any perfect, could I? To explain it. Now, because I, I have an eight, that would give me another success, which is six. If it was a nine, it would be no successes on that particular thing. Now, let's just go one further, okay? Say we had the two successes that we had here, but if I had rolled a 10, it wouldn't matter because a 10 is an automatic failure. A one, you can re-roll, okay? So I thought a one was an automatic success, but I think I'm wrong. But what happens is, is that you can re-roll this die if it's a one. Uh, say you had a bunch of successes, but you needed one more and you had a remainder, you can re-roll that die to try to get another one. So there we go. Now, that would have gave us six. I mean, we actually blew this away, to be honest with you. Uh, okay, this one in particular. This is a good one. We have a six total here. The number is nine. We need to be under nine, nine or, or less, and we have an attack value of six. So we're fine. We get a success out of that. And over here, we would have gotten one success which would be 13 and we would have to need it to be under a five with the remainder and yes we would have we would have been three and that is under five so we would have got two more successes and over there we rolled a five we have uh, for our vehicle we have three five six that would have been no success with our vehicle okay so we made it through with our first check. Our second check is mechanical. We need three mechanical successes. So guess what we do? We grab all these dice again. And like I said, we're playing out in the kitchen, so forgive us. No, no, you're fine. I'm just making sure, you know, that everybody understands that we live life like normal people. This is the way you would play at your house. I think. So that's the way we now here we have the situation that we really didn't want to happen, but we will deal with it when we get to it. Okay. So over here, we're going to start assigning our dice and guys from the great fallen dominion studio. If I mess this up, do me a favor. Let me know so I can fix it. So we're going to put all these out. This is a four and this is a one. Okay, so for this particular instance, we need three mechanical successes. Well, we rolled a one, okay? That means we can re-roll that. We need to get four, okay? Um, a four would not do it. Four, of course, is not less than, than one. So we can re-roll this one. And we get a nine. So, guess what? Four is less than nine, so we get one success. Very cool. Now, okay, and you know something, I missed something. You get special abilities with certain types of weapons. So, we still would have had this, enough successes, but I forgot to add in some of the things from the cards. And that's what you got to be aware of, of some of the abilities that you get from the cards as well. So we have one success, we need two more. Now here, mechanical, we have a five. That is a nine. Five is less than nine, that's two successes. Four, we have a seven here. It's not more than 10, so we don't get a success for that, but it is more than the four, which is the new number to beat. Oh my God, Bella. Okay, that's enough. It's enough drinking all the way. No, I'm just gonna keep going. So we do not get a success there. Not cool, we needed that. Now here is a mechanical, another mechanical. We have an eight, but fortunately we rolled a nine here. So that's underneath eight, so we get our third success. So we are successful in negotiating this thing. Over here, even though we had an automatic success because we had eight and five, which is, which, uh, is 13, and then even though the three would be less than 10, the problem is, is that 10 is an automatic failure. We would get no successes there. So that's the perfect availability that I wanted you guys to see. So we did pass that test. So let's see what happens to our, our band of heroes here. Let's 
see how well we do. Hmm. I'm fascinated. I want heavily armed and armored big wheels and big green machines. Gonna do some sweet power slides. Oh my god, Jason. Only you. Alright, so here we go. Success. Gain two spoil cards now. Travel back to your town. Upon arrival, receive two town health. <laughs> so I'm gonna take these two spoil cards. Uh, travel back to our town. Well, it looks like we're not getting anywhere. But that's okay, because we can still move up. In the deadly game of cat and mouse, your superior tactics and firepower make short work of the malevolent uh, mane muties. Afterwards, you loot the place of its large stock of coveted building supplies. Now, if we failed, we would have taken 5d6 of damage. And what would happen is we would roll 5d6 and add it all up and then spread it out to everybody. And that's not cool. Definitely. Uh, so if you take the total skill, character base skill and spoil cards, skill bonus is the total skill. Say you have a 9 that is under 10. Then you need a 9 or less. So you have a nine that is under 10, then you need a nine or less. Ah, yeah, okay, gotcha. Hey Rob, I think you need the die roll under the sum of all the stats. Like if all the stats added to 13, you'd have one success. Then you need to roll, oh, you needed to, then you'll need a three or less on your die roll for second second success. Oh, I thought you all rolled them out and then did that. Uh, then I guess I did it wrong. Okay, so the sum. Am I explaining that wrong? Or am I doing it wrong? So if you take the total skill, character, blah, 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 blah. say you have a nine that is under 10. Hold on. I want to make sure I'm doing this right because I might be understanding it. Then you need a nine or less. Oh, on the on the die roll. Oh. You need a nine or less. Okay, got you. I I, I was doing it backwards. Got gotcha. you. Okay, we still would have we still would have passed it. All right, thanks for that. I messed up. If you guys follow the chat, you'll see that they have it right. And I, I read it out loud, so you guys, I think you guys got it. It's a little confusing, and it takes a little getting used to. Okay, Fallen Dominion has another thing. And I'm going to say this live so so people can who watch this later on will understand. Total skill greater than 10, say 12 equals one success and on a two or less a second success number ah then counts as a success got it ones can be re-rolled and 10 negates all successes from that character or vehicles got it okay there we go so now that i said it out loud it will translate on the video properly there we go we still would have made it so we're not going to worry about that we're going to discard that uh oh now we have to look at our spoil cards. I get it now, and believe me, we'll get in enough trouble where we'll we'll get through this now, uh, again. So town health goes up two. One, two. Perfect. <clears throat> now I got two cards here. Uh equipment, alcohol, stowable. Discard after you have failed a diplomacy skill check. <laughs> To succeed at it. Oh, this only costs three to put in the tank there. And it is stowable. And it's only three weight. I might take this. Oh, we have another mechanical thing. Equip a uh, mechanical stone. Once per game, retrieve any card from the spoils discard pile. That is worth... Oh, but that's worth... That's pretty heavy there. So, let me take a look here. That is... We have 20, so we're at... We're at eight. 
Eh, let's put these two on here. For now. There we go. And there we go. And that's the way we'll do that. All right, perfect. So, I think I got it. I think I did it right. Strangely, it does work both ways. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, correct, correct, correct. Yep. Yeah. So, we're, we're going to do it again. So, it's a roll under system. You want to roll low dies to generate for skill test. Thank you, Mike. All right. I want to make sure I get this right and do you guys justice. All right. So, I still have two weeks left. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do another movement because we wanna get up to that mission. Oh, I'm not gonna roll two dice. So I do have, I do have plus two movement plus five, so that's seven. So let's figure it out now, here we go. That's gonna cost two. So now we're down to five. Cost one to go in the planes. Well, that see that, that does have some of the mountains still in it so i'm going to call that a mountain so it's two four five six seven so that's where we're going to go right there now i have one week left i can do another plane i can do another encounter deed i wonder if i should after the way i blew the first one <laughs> But uh, so far we're doing pretty good, so why don't we do this? I can just pass it if I wanted to, or I can do a resource deed. The player. Nobody's hurt. Now ah, let's go for it. Why not? No risk, no reward. So here we go. We're going to pull another planes card, and this will be the end of our week. So here we go. Uh oh world card Josef Albertstein the third one of the few remaining scientific geniuses has announced the sale of his new adventure the the mysterious T50 XHT all of the 10 town leaders have instructed their agents to acquire it at all cost I see this wouldn't work uh, this faction this will be a sealed bid auction. Each faction will submit the number of salvage coins it's willing. Uh, well, we would win the bid because we're playing solo. Okay, so that would be fine. So now we would have to pay, um, um, deal with a diplomacy check. Which, ouch, which would hurt. So we have to get five diplomacy and then four science. Ouch. All right, so let's do this. And I'm going to do it, try to do it the way the guys, the guys want us to do it. So here we go. So you want to roll, lo, uh, roll die lows to generate the skill test. Okay, so on this particular guy, his diplomacy is seven. So we're going to roll the red die. I need to roll under a seven to get a check. I did. I rolled a four. Thus, we have one, one of the five. So we only need four more. Now, here's another thing. I have a learning center, which gives me an automatic one success. So now we have two. We have over here, I'm totaling up, and unfortunately, guys, I'm going to bring this up a little bit so you guys can see. I have with... A, you need a genuine sock monkey puppet to have with you at all times because that creates diplomacy, believe it or not. So, five and one is six. So now, on this particular dice, I need to roll under a six. And I do. I roll a two. Hooray for me. That's three. We're doing pretty good. We only need two more. Now... Over here, all we have is five diplomacy. So we need to roll five or under on the green die. Come on, let's keep rolling low. Three. That gives us four. Congratulations to us. We now have four skilled diplomacy checks. Now over here, we have a six. We need to roll six on the blue die. Six or under. Can we do it? No, we failed. 
But hold on here. Let's see if there's anything that goes with this that we can pay attention to. No, that is a failure. So we have four. We need one more somehow, some way. Okay. Over here, Warren, Rip Warren Ripley. She has seven. She or he. Uh, on a yellow die, we need to roll a nine or under. Six. So there it is. We get our fifth one. Just for ha-has, let's go over here. Let's see how much diplomacy our vehicles have. Two, five, six, seven. Oh, boy. That actually would have been... Oh, we would have got it. Nice. So, we passed that. Now, we have to go to science. So, we're going to take all these off. And this where it might be a little difficult. We need four. So, science. We have a four here. So, on this red crown, we have to roll a four or under on our science. Uh-oh, this could be tough. Oh, we rolled a four. And ties win, so we get one science. Excellent. So we're already, we're almost there. We have three. We need three. So now, on this one right here, on our next, on our sniper, they have a total of five. So we need a five or under on the orange die. Can we do that? Five, five or under... We roll a three, so that's two. Boy, we're just rolling on fire here. Patrick Swayze headband failed diplomacy. Yeah, figures, right? All right, see, I'm getting this now. It takes a little bit, but when you get this, you're not going to regret it one bit. All right, this should be a little bit easier because we have a seven, but never count anything out on this green die. We've got two, diplo we've got two science right now. And now we have three signs. We rolled a one, but we don't want to re-roll that because we already succeeded. I believe that is correct. So now we have three. Now, on the dude with the Patrick Swayze headband, who my wife will defend to the end of the earth, because Patrick Swayze can do no longer, I guess. Okay, because he gets a plus one, he gets a plus one to his science, so he's at seven. Uh, mechanical equipment. Hold on, let me make sure. Uh, mechanical equipment plus three. No, he does not because that's just armor I gave him. So, that is not mechanical. So, we have to roll a six or under on this blue die. Oh, even if we... Even if we... We're at the highest. It was an epic fail. We're in trouble now. Okay, we're at nine. Nine here. So, how many do we have correct here? We have one, two, we have three. We have three. All we need is one more. Let's see if Ripley here can do it for us. She has a nine. Four. There it is. That's the fourth one. And three, four. Four, seven, uh, 12. That would have been pretty much an automatic as long as we don't roll a 10. Yeah, we would have been fine. All right, perfect. We made it. I don't know how. So, what do we get? What do we get after, after, after dealing with this? Okay, gain one prestige, which is perfect, because now we move up to three, and claim the next... Top secret weapon from the spoils deck. If one is not available, instead confiscate the item from another player. Uh, claim the next top secret weapon from the spoils deck. If one, okay, well, what, do we do we go through and keep looking until we run into one? Maybe that makes sense. Confiscate the item from another player. We can't do that because we don't have another player. Factions that made an unsuccessful bid for the T50TX take one damn... Okay, this wouldn't do anything to them because they are non-existent. Because we are do just doing this as the first, like I said, just to see how quickly we can get... How many turns it would take us to get to uh, the win condition. So, let's see here. So, we did that. 
move it to move it to one space to the right adjust turn chip marker oh that's the one that I accidentally mixed into here uh, of course I did all right so uh, basically the way we would do that I think oh did something go wrong they're always slow for me Tim oh, I got make sure here, step into my awesome pasture soybean because you. <laughs> uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Just discard one until you just discard until you get one. Okay, cool. Thank you. They cleared that up. Okay, that is not. Nope. 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 Boy, some great vehicles though. Probably could have used them. Fast horses. High tech armor. High tech armor, that's not top secret. Come on, man. Man, oh, what's this? Kick ass sound system. <laughs> that is just super. Oh, look at all this great stuff that's going by. All right. We're just going to keep discarding until. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. That's not a relic. Dukes, oh boy, that would have been cool. Top secret. Nope. Nope. Boy, some of these weapons are just unbelievable. Uh, we're going to run into one. President's football. Oh, we, we missed out on Patton. We could have had a German Shepherd with us. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. We're doing pretty good here. And nope, that's an event. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. I'll eventually get it. Here, I'm just going to keep doing it this way. So I'm just not continually turning over. Come on, top secret weapon. Give us something. That's not one, that's not one, that's not one, that's not one. Boy, we're really mowing through. I bet you all they're all on the bottom. All right, let's just do it a little faster here. Just making sure I don't miss anything on the cards. Nope, 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 nope. Oh boy, that's cool. Wish I had one of those. Top secret weapon, top secret weapon, top secret weapon. Can you believe this? Looking for a laser rifle or a giant suit of mech armor. Oh, okay. Why don't I just do that? Giant suit of mech armor. And then I'm just going to shuffle all these back in. Giant suit of mech armor. No course you know it's on the very bottom folks all right let's just do this you got to see the, the best part is some of the stuff that you have in here i mean they're just unbelievable oh here we go experimental back battle suit <laughs> oh yeah that's what i'm talking about papa needs a new pair of shoes with those equip as the first item may not be used in conjunction with other armor or clothing spoils Radiation and inflected wounds are treated as physical damage. She's all right. Uh, times two armor. Wow. A plus one prestige. Bam. Look at us go. We're not even. We're not even at at, at turn. Uh, there we go. I'm just gonna shuffle these up. We're gonna shuffle these up because we went by some events. Events are pretty nasty. All right. Now Justin said next week he he'd love to play with us next time, and definitely play a two-player game. But I wanted to test the solo variant of this out. Okay, there we go. Now everything's mixed up. So who are we gonna sign this bad boy to? Hmm, boy, that sure would make him nasty, wouldn't it? With his rusty meat cleaver, he gets plus three as it is nine. 
Uh, oh, it's only four, four attack. So let's give it to somebody that really needs to increase their attack. And some of the other things that they have. Um, can you imagine carry Cassie Reardon with power armor? I can. <laughs> and that works for me. Uh, yeah. Because I can't put it on him. So this has got to be the first item. So we're going to put that on. And we're going to put that on. So she's jacked up. She's jacked up to a 12 which is nice. Okay, there we go. All right, so we just went through all our weeks. Now it's the end turn phase. We uh, adjust the turn marker. I'm just going to use a dollar here for that. So that's going to be one because I got to find the other chip. Uh, pass the first player sheet. Okay, well, we would normally pass it and then the other person would take their turn. Uh, I think I, I gave myself plus one prestige, too. Yeah, because I'm up to four. Okay, so. Possibly at the bottom of the deck. Of course it is, because we're live. Nice. I think you already have the plasma. Or, yeah, I have the plasma rifle. Okay, so there we go. So, man, we're, we're rolling here. So, things are going pretty good. So, now we go back to and start all over again with our phases. Like I had said but we use the faces that are in this here the expansion and that's i'm just using the card because that pretty much so effects effect face we have no effects or nothing's going wrong yet by the way let's uh discard this and but things are going to go badly pretty quickly okay so we're going to receive one action card because that's our next thing so we're doing town business we're in the town business phase so we receive one card. Play any time to cancel an action card that affects your town. Uh, okay, all right. Uh, play any time to prevent world encounter cards effect on your town. Uh, well, I might keep this. Very quickly, is there a, a card limit for action cards? I'm just going to ask you that so I don't have to look it up. Okay, resource production. We're not producing any resources right now. Not cool. I need to I need to do that. That's probably the next thing I need to do. So, um the next thing is auction house. We're going to draw three spoil cards. We may purchase two of them from the salvage coin value uh, from their salvage coin value. So, I'm going to Pick up three here and uh, see what we can afford here. Uh, lead filled Kempo gloves. On gladiatorial event encounter cards, this character gains one additional combat success. Hmm, I'm going to pay for this. I'm going to buy this and I'm going to tell you why. Um, the reason I'm going to buy this is uh, it's going to cost me four is because it's going to be perfect on my guy who is a melee specialist okay he has a melee weapon so we add this into him and all of a sudden he's a little cooler so he he's 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 going to gain an additional combat success which which is kind of beneficial here so we're going to make sure that we have this attached to him there we go all right we did that now town event uh, event chart so we got to roll on this chart now here's where you really got it well, let's pull all these back let's pull all these back pull the, all these back man we want to roll low on this what i really want to roll is a two i mean a two or a one come on oh six nothing happens no effect so we ran, rolled on the town event chart phase. Now, as you see here, again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, just gonna spell this out real quick for you guys to make sure that you understand. Seven card hand, thank you so much. Um, I wanna make sure that you guys get this, is that such an amazing game, love the solo mode. Dice Odyssey, the boys from Fallen Dominion are in in this house here. Just tell them, uh, tell them you, you want to get a hand, your hands on one, and they will direct you right to their site, 
at FallenDominion.com where you can purchase this wonderful game. Um, here we have the chart. You roll a d10. Now, if you roll high, man, bad things can happen. You can lose town. You can lose town health. You could be on the edge of winning the game and then all of a sudden lose prestige or two town health, or you know, just everything that can go bad can go bad here. Or there's a lot of stuff that can go good. All right, so we did that. So now we're in the financial period. Uh, spoil and action cards. Do I want to sell any? Oh, you know something? Oh, I could have purchased two, but I didn't. I didn't want to. Do I want to sell any of these action cards to try to gain some cash? Right now, I pretty much... Uh, I'm going to sell this for three. So this is an action card I'm going to sell for three. And I'm going to get back three bucks. I got a funny feeling I'm going to need some money soon. So let's just try to keep it there and I'm gonna keep the rest of these cards for now all right uh, purchase we, can, we can't afford any town tiers because we are not doing anything and we're not going to hire anybody because we haven't ran into anybody to hire so now we're gonna go back to yes our party exploit phase any NPCs which we don't have we don't have to worry about that phase but we are now back into our four weeks there's mission one, but I kind of want to stop on the way. <coughs> so I'm going to, I'm going to, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use one week to move. And I'm going to move, I got four, five, six. <coughs> but what I really want to do is I only want to move one. I don't have to use my full movement. And I want to stop right on this space right here. Because this here is a plane but it also is a resource, and I want to be able to get the resource. Party must occupy the resource, the, the resource hex to claim it or destroy it. So I want to claim it. So I move there. I would use one of these to claim it. That would give me one of these. I think I still have to uh, negotiate a planes card for that. Is that correct, guys? I just want to double double check Leland thank you about to head to my gaming group so I can't stay for long Kabuki it's good to see you thank you uh, PC glad now to play more attention here in the stream okay there we go I want to check with Fallen Dominion real quick um, I made my move I don't have to use all my movement <clears throat> when a party ends their movement they must draw an encounter card or perform a deed action now I want to perform an encounter deed is there an encounter? What card would I pull for that? I would pull the planes card because I'm on a plane. And I just want to make sure I do this right because I think I am right. So first off, I'm going to use the two weeks, but I would have to probably pull a planes card, which would give me every turn I would get plus one town health and plus one gold, which is very important. We want to do that. We want to try to do that as fast as we can and try to claim resources. This would go here once I claim it, but I think I have to pass the test. Draw a card from the encounter deck. Your choice. Go planes. There you go. See? There we go. Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. Your band is jarred awake by the crashing of dried branches from the thicket. Within moments, a gargantuan grizzly bear lopes into the center of the camp Regard, regarding your mo momentarily uh, regarding you regarding you momentarily with its bearded bloodshot eyes bear, bear, beady bloodshot eyes these glasses are not helping me any let it f <laughs> it lets forth a long ferocious roar rearing its massive frame towers seven feet above you Hypnotized by its long yellow fangs and putrid breath, you manage to dodge the first swipe of its enormous claws and die for your melee weapon. Well, now, here's an interesting thing. Uh, three. We get three salvage. So we're going to make sure that we get three. But there's some daggers here. Now, this is something I haven't seen, so we're just going to go take a look here. Dagger. Melee weapons only. Skill check. All right. 
No problem. We have to pass five. Okay, so and there's another symbol after it, which will damage damage taken is infected wounds. Okay, so I want to show you this real quick. Okay, this is telling me a that we we have to we can only do melee with this. Okay, we've got to pass five checks, but if we get damaged, okay, if we take any damage, we are going to take a toxic damage. Uh, hold on, what do they call it? Da um, damage is taken in infected wounds, so we would have infection, which is really bad. So, here we go. We need to pass this, and we need to get by five. Fortunately, we need five, so let's count it out, folks, because here we go. First of all, we get one, so now we need four. We got our boy here, which is a, I mean, he is just a beast. So he now has 13, okay, but he gets a plus three because of a melee weapon. Uh, 13, so that's 16. So what happens? We get one additional. Now we have to roll under a six. The six is the number that we need to roll. Six or under to be a success here. So we are going to take our red die. I want to make sure that there is nothing else here that, that we could do. Uh, that's PVP. Oh, wait a minute. Hold it. Uh, on gladiatorial event encounters cards, this character gains one additional. No, we're not in gladiatorial. So here we go. So what we're doing here is we now have six. Yep, six plus three. There we go, melee weapon. So I need a six or under to be successful. Oh, we rolled an eight. What a failure. But, all right. But because we have plus one, we only needed four. But we did get one, which is now we only need three more. This guy has a rifle. That's not going to do us any good. So this guy is, we cannot check with him. It's just an automatic failure. Okay, we have melee here. All right, let's take a look at Carrie. Carrie has five, nine. She has 12. So, first in the action, let me just make sure that there's nothing that we're missing on lock picking. Nope, that's not going to do anything. So we get another another success that we need so five nine twelve so we need a two or under to get a, a, an additional success there this is going to be tough but we did get we do have three now so far but we can try hopefully we can get this let's see if we can roll a two um Hey, Doug, how you doing? I came in late, but we'll watch uh, it again after the live play. Thank you. You do have the garrison, though, so you only need four success. Oh, yeah, okay, good. I'll just keep on checking because I want to make sure that I'm catching this game correctly. All right, here we go. I need a two or under. Oh, epic fail, but that's okay. Uh, we only need two more, so we have... One, two, three. We need two more. Where are we going to get the two from? I don't know. All right, this guy here, once per game. He is going to fisticuff this thing, obviously. Uh, and he has a six. So we need a six or under on this blue card. Oh, boy. Come on, man. Come on, six or under. No, ten. Uh-oh. This isn't good. This isn't good. We need. We need something. We need some, we need a miracle here. We need a miracle. All right, top secret. Oh no, she has a laser rifle. That's not going to do us any good. This is a failure. Just use the base skill for the character without. Oh. Okay, got you. With melee weapons. Oh, okay. So I don't have to use this. So I need a five or under for this. We'll come back. We'll come back to him. Um, he has to have a rifle, though. Uh, all right, we'll figure this out. He would have passed. No. Okay. So, anyways, I need a five. Five or under on that one. And I do. I get it. That's a four. Perfect. So, we're not going to use the rifle there. 
Uh, howdy, Rob. Love that you all pulled together. Got Rob Kingdom Death. You are all going to have fun with that. Yes, I did the, the video on putting it together, and we're going to be painting it live. Is that number less than uh, LLC? Uh, is that number or less if the character has six combat than a six or less? Oh, okay, I got you. No, this is a five, uh, this is a nine. This is a nine, unfortunately. So she would have failed. Oh, wait, no, she would have passed. Okay. So, yeah, we would have made it. Okay, cool. But she had a sledgehammer, which we could have used. And what was this? Oh, that was the special armor that we put on her. Okay, so we could have just used a... Is that, the, is that number or less if a character has a six combat? Okay, so we would have made it. Cool. Will this game be in retail in the EU? With uh, okay, Beyond don't say nothing. So, bah, 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 bah. Okay. All right, great. Okay, so we we passed it. Okay, sorry about that. So we passed because that's a nine, and we would be just going off her melee, which is a five, and we would have made it. So. Yeah. I think we would have. Four less than. No. No, we wouldn't have made that. Okay, I got confused there. So we accounted that. We have one. So now we got to go to the van, which has a three, five, six, seven. So we need a seven or less on the black die. I got a little confused, sorry. And we did. We got a six, so we made it. So we have survived, thank God. Barely. So, we received two spoil cars. You slay the titanic beast in an epic battle. Later, you trade her beautiful pelt at the next settlement for some new gear. Oh, there we go. All right, that was a little scary there. So now what happens is, because... We get this here. So that cost us two weeks. So we have one week left. So we can move. We can possibly move on to that mission. Uh, mission deeds cost three weeks, but we would have to wait till the prior turn. Must occupy a hex with a mission chip and draw a mission card. Those are brutal, though. But the best way to check it out is to go through it. So... Uh, let's draw the two spoil cards and see what we get. We get Pro Fishing Tackle. Your party succeeds on all perishable encounter cards. Okay, we can get that to somebody. It only costs two. And then Pre-War Disaster Kit. Once per turn, before your party exploit phase, roll a D6. You re-roll a 10 on a skill check. Draw one action card. Heal 2 d6 damage, gain plus 2 movement, gain 3 salvage coin. No, okay, so we do this once per turn. Okay, very cool. So, who do we want to give this to? Um, I'm going to give it to my man right here because his loadout right now, he can carry 13. He's only got one, so that brings him up to 5. This here, this fishing kit, which is always good. Um, Let's, who do we want to boost up there? Okay, let's boost up this guy and we'll put the fishing kit because not only does he carry a rifle, he's going to carry an Asak monkey, but he has a fishing kit with him. The pre-war dis, uh, disaster kit is one of my favorite spoils in the entire game. Oh, Daisadi ha has this game. You fool, you doomed us all. <laughs> Quiet. Okay, so we're going to roll and... Six plus two, no problem. We can go here, but we can't do anything until, of course, uh, we get to our next destination. Am I plugged in? I hope so. Okay, let's 
Let's make sure that's plugged in, that's plugged in, that's plugged in. Perfect. Okay, so we're not going to do anything until next turn. So adjust the, the marker face. So now we're going into uh, to turn three. And so far we're moving along pretty good. How much time is it? 5.30. Okay, we're just going to go probably another half hour. So you capture the resource and place your faction marker chip on that resource location, which I have done right there. And I put my... Um, faction marker here also to denote that at the beginning of every turn we will get one and one okay in the following order world encounter cards and other effect cards apply apply infected wound damage discarding characters who have reached their maximum damage or psychological damage so effects phase no big deal now at the beginning of the turn, oh, that's their resource production. There we go. Okay, now uh, we're going to receive an action card. Let's see what we get here. Survival instincts. Play during the party exploit phase. Any party or character gains two successes towards a single survival check. That's a good card to have. Okay, R resource production phase. Uh, receive all town health so because we now have that captured thing we get one town health and we get one salvage coin we are moving up in the world folks all right let's move let's take three four five and turn that into a five which is a health kit there we go auction house now of course it's different in the solo campaign than in the real game in the real game you would negotiate with your whoever you're playing with uh plus one prestige for capturing a resource oh thank you i didn't know that see there you go so now we are at five prestige and we're, we're doing pretty good we just might get enough prestige to win this whole game um so what happens now is the auction hawk we're going to draw three spoil cards one two three and we can purchase two of them uh bicycle cheap mountain bike yeah, that's not bad brass knuckles boy i wonder if i should give this guy brass knuckles to no i can't but i can give this to my boy here it might be worth three uh, elite camping backpack really doesn't do anything for me it's cost 10 so I'm gonna pay for the brass knuckles and I'm gonna discard the rest of this stuff because it's kind of expensive right now and I don't have the money for it so we're gonna pay three for that and we're gonna give the brass knuckles we got it we gotta boost this guy up all right the guy the guy that looks like Patrick Swayze here I mean, he's got to toughen up. I mean, yeah, he whined in that Roadhouse movie, but, I mean, let's be real. He really wasn't that tough. Come on. Work with me here, folks. All right, so now we are down to town event chart. So we're going to roll D10. Here we go. Come on, nothing bad here. Let's get all these off here so nothing jinx anything. We've been rolling sixes. What we want is a one. Oh no, we rolled a nine. Oh. We lose one prestige, so we're down to four. Should have just left it there. Uh, and we lost two health, two town health. That's not cool. Boy, that was a, that was a bad spell. All right, sell spoil cards and action cards. Are there any action cards we want to sell? One, two, three, four, five. We've got five. I think we're going to hold on to them. You know what? Play any time to cancel an action card that affects your turn. Nope, that's not going to help us. Play any time to prevent a world encounter card effects on your top. Nope, that's not going to help us either. All right, pur purchase, hire. Nope. So we're going back to our movement phase. Uh, we don't have any N NPCs to negotiate with. And here we go with the party exploit phase. So to do a mission deed, it's going to cost us three weeks. So 
uh, we're going to spend the three weeks, and this is where things are really going to get ugly, folks. Um, hold on, let me see. Uh, I'm trying to read with these stupid things. Uh, plus one for caption resource. I ran a bad roll there. So is this the base game? I thought the solo variant is in the expansion. This is the exp uh, the base game with the expansion. Hello, Chrissy. Uh, oh, that was answered. Time for me to boogie. Goodbye, Kabuki. It was nice seeing you. Kyle, how are you? Hope you are having a wonderful day. All right, so here we go. Um, the best thing that I can tell you is we are going to try to attempt to do a mission card. Now, these are absolutely brutal. So we're going to take one right here. This costs three weeks to do this. But the rewards are, are fabulous. So let's let's see what we get here. Hopefully we survive this. Okay, here we go. So, National Guard Remnants. Several weeks ago, rumors began circulating about the appearance of a well-equipped company-sized detachment of rogue National Guard remnants. This morning, an emergency message from your faction confirmed it. Led by a tyrannic Captain Holden, his forces have overthrown a peaceful farming community, an ally and trade partner, declaring this town his military dictatorship. He has since pub publi uh, publicly executed their elected mayor, his family, and other officials. Holden has threatened a similar fate to others unwilling to bow a knee. Terminate this madman and his forces with extreme prejudice to free the survivors. Wow, this is a bad boy of a... A thing here so we're gonna see what we can do here to help these guys Whew. I'll tell you who I'm, I'm gonna ask I'm gonna ask uh, fallen Dominion right now since they're here I, I believe it's John John who wrote this stuff I mean the imagination on you guys is just absolutely beautiful I, I, I you know if you were here I would give you a hug I really would would that be okay Tim sure. okay just want to make sure I mean, this is just, if you don't feel like you're playing a post-apocalyptic game, then you know something you're never going to, I don't care what game you play. This is the best apocalyptic game out there. You need to go out. If you don't have this, you and your friends would enjoy this game. Um, this is, I, I can't, I can't tell you more than enough how much I like it. Okay, so here we go. Here's the payback to this. We've got to pay two. Yes, to, uh, we got two salvage coin, which represents during our weeks, we found two salvage coins. We're going to have to pass four survival checks. Well, hold on here. Hold on here, my friends. Uh, well, here we go. Play during party exploit phase. Any party or character gains two successes towards a single survival skill check we're not taking any chances we're playing that card right now folks it only costs one anyways so now all we need is two more so i have five six seven here uh survival so on my red die i need to roll underneath the seven can i do it i roll a seven exactly but that gives us enough to to surpass it excellent Survival for our boy, uh, Quentin, the assassin. He has an eight. We're gonna, we need an eight on an orange die. We need less than an eight. How's that? He rolls a five. So that means that with this card and these two, we don't have to check the rest. We've passed the um, survival part of it. Excellent. Phew. That was close. But here's the tough one, folks. Oh, man, this is going to be hardcore. We need to pass seven, seven, and I do mean seven, um, combat checks. So, how's this going to work out? Well, we have nine, 10, 11, 12, plus three is 15. So we have 15. So that means we get one. We have one here. So we need five more, but we need to roll under a five or, or less 
in order to pass that. So let's to get another success. So we have one, two, and let's see, hopefully two. We rolled a two, which is perfect. So we get two successes out of him. So I'm just gonna put this on him sideways so we know that we got the additional one there. So we've got two, three. So we got three out of the seven, we need four more. Whew. Boy, that was tough. So here, what do we got here? Well, we've got nine and seven is 16. So that's gonna give us one of them, but now that we need a six or less on the orange die, come on. We need a six or, le or less. Come on, six or less. Four, perfect. So that's two successes there. So we got two, four, five. We need two more to, to, to pass this this check, this particular check. Five, she has her top secret ring, which makes it nine, and then her sledgehammer, which makes it 12. We get one automatic success, which means we're gonna need one more, but um, 12, so she, we need a two or less on this green die to get the additional and final success. We get a one. Is that rolling or what? So now we get two successes from her. So basically it's two, four, six, seven. We've passed that function of it. Whew. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you play Fallen Land. All right, we're almost there. We're almost there. The mission cards take elite characters to handle, LOL. I usually take a while to build them up so I can handle that hardcore action. Hope you pass it, Rob. Yeah, me too. Drew, uh, too working t works too working too busy. Just wanted to say hi. How you doing, Drew? Hi, Rob, and everyone. Have a great game. We sure are. We're having a great time with this. All right, the last one. This I don't understand. There's a black four. Oh, optional skill check. Oh, I don't have to take. A, that as an optional skill. Oh, I could have took medical as an option, but I didn't. I passed two out of three. I'm happy as can be. We made it through that card. So let's read the success and see what happens. We gain three, three, yes, three prestige. One, two, three. So we're up to seven. We would have been at eight. We gain three spoils. One, two, oops, and three which means man we are going to be firing some stuff um we get one action card which is even better than replace the one play an action card uh, play when an action card is played on your part oh this is a red one remember i told you i couldn't get i didn't get all these out uh oh oh this is now now here's something that these are some mercs some NPCMs, we can we can use these guys. Hired during the business phase, so we can hire them when we want to. That's cool. All right. Uh, and receive any salvage coin chips that are on this card from a previous failed attempt. No, it's not. You assassinate Holden and eliminate his his remaining forces. OSC. What's OSC? OSC, is that, no, well, let's look that up, OSC, OSC, a thorough search of the hospital, oh, so if we decide to search, uh, I'm not too sure what OSC is, but I'm sure, John will tell us very shortly, but we're going to put this aside for the time being because all it would do is give us three more, uh, three town health. We're not going to worry about that for the time being because we've accomplished this, which is just awesome. That's fantastic. That, I don't know how we managed to do that. So let's discard this, which is really cool. And okay, we are really rolling here. So we have one week left so we can move at least so let's move off this mission and this mission is complete by the way so i believe that we would flip this over no nope, wouldn't matter 
Okay, so, all right. So we rolled one, and we have a movement of two. Uh, so we can go three. Woohoo! Uh, that was on 14. So one, two, three. So we're going to go right there. There we go. Yeah, because we're going to try to work our way down here to get try to get another resource. This goes away, I believe, since we already accomplished the first mission. All right, so we'll wait to see what John says about the OMC. But anyways, we're going to adjust our churn marker chip to turn <coughs> four. And it is almost six o'clock. So we're just going to go back to the first phase. And I'm just real happy that we got to see a lot of the things that go on here. I would pass this on. Now, in the first phase, we would resolve any kind of world effects or any da wounds or damage or anybody that got killed. We would go to... Um, uh, our, our, we would receive another action card, our resource production, which we would go up one town health again, and then our auction phase, and then we would roll on here. So pretty much, and plus I would have to uh, assign these guys different things. Now, if I'm not correct, and I want to make sure that John uh, clears this up also before we go off, and what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to stop right here. I think everybody has a good feel for this. Justin and I are going to play an entire full game next week. Uh, he's been anxious to play this, so I said instead of doing the whole run through, we'll do that. But <clears throat> you see, because it took me a little while to get going, you know, this took me about an hour and a half to get to this point, but you're kind of right there. Normally, this game will take you about an hour per person. But of course, I'm talking to the chat and I'm taking my time and all that other stuff. Uh, we could probably roll through. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Got to go. Got a Jet Rob video. As always, the, this game is just fun to watch. Got this game on my table now to, to play again tonight. Thanks, man. You are welcome, Dice Odyssey. So the thing I, I wanted wanted to really make clear is this, the way how, how this flows. Once you get the flow going in this game, this is a beautiful game. And P, I've heard people say that this map isn't, attractive this is a beautiful map and i'll tell you why this is how it's basically scorched earth okay and you are moving along these radiated areas and you're looking and, and the way things can go all over the place i mean i just really really am blown away by this game and this is why this game ranked so highly up above all in all my uh, things i'm going to take any questions and any questions that you guys have uh, we're going to go for about 10 minutes here about the game while we have Fallen Dominion Studios in studio here. This would be a perfect time to uh, really go through this and really tell you guys what's going on here and uh, answer any of your questions. <clears throat> um, Leland, throw up, uh, make sure you throw up in the comments where people can get this game. I would really appreciate it if you do that. Uh, number two. Um, this really just flows through beautifully. And <clears throat> there are two ways that you can play the solo variant. We would have just kept on going until we reached one of them and it would probably take another hour now that I had a good flow going. But, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, opposing factions on the, oh, oh, okay, I get it now. Okay, so uh, there's a solo uh, variant, uh, which is part two, where you would have the actual opposing faction and what they would do is they would you would roll each turn for them and on their chart they can get anywhere from six prestige to five prestige so you're gonna have to keep moving you're not fighting them as much as you're trying to beat them from beating the clock on you which is just brilliant 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 fantastic but uh, like I said uh, Justin and I um, I was going to run this all the way through, but uh, Justin decided that he was going to play it. So next Tuesday, we will be doing this live. Also, Justin may be involved with uh, uh, Kingdom Death Monster. <clears throat> we'll have to see how that plays out and uh, things as such. Oh, excuse me. My throat is just shot. All right, hold on there. Okay, that was actually Dan King that was trying to get a hold of me. Everybody knows Dan King, the Game Boy Geek. Great guy. 
Uh, Leland. Okay, thank you, Leland. And John, are you still here? I hope so. So if you guys have any questions, it's a good time to get them in here. Um, one of the things I have to really say is <clears throat> when you get this, and I, I, I want to get off this, and I want to just uh, turn this up a little bit. Oh, excuse me. And I really want to hit home. You know, we did a couple turn, more than a couple turns. I mean, we started getting a good flow of this game, and I wanted to make sure that you guys understood how beautiful this game plays. I look at all the cards. <laughs> And they're coming out with more expansions? Are you kidding me? This is just absolutely mind-blowing at what you get here. I mean, there's no two games that you're going to play that are the same here. And this is the character cards. So think about it. <clears throat> I'm playing with... I've got six characters right there. And you can actually play with so many... There's so many different characters that's going on here and the, you know the imagination these guys had to do this is just absolutely fantastic and this is why this is one of the top games of the year for me question if you couldn't see that the box that box held KDM without your glasses how will you see me sneaking up on you at origins I'll smell you coming I'll smell you coming Jason a mile away I got new glasses on now, bro. You better watch out. I get used to these bifocals. You're in trouble. Really late to the show, but hello. Sith Knight, you're going to want to watch this from the beginning because this is a fantastic game, definitely. Um, <clears throat> love the Sock Monkey. Yeah, I do too. You know, it's the little nuances that, that really make this something very special. Very, very, very special. And it's just a fantastic, uh, fantastic, well-played game. You better. Pfft. Jason, you weigh about 12 pounds. And that's only because you were holding your kid. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, really a lot of fun. Fantastic game. I think, uh, okay, we're, we're closing on. I, I'll definitely do that. Yeah, definitely check this out. This is masterful. I can't say enough about it. And playing this is just a good time. And when you get a bunch of people playing, you, you know, you, you, there's PvP involved here too. And it's it's really something. Dang, Jason, you must be smelling stand out for, for that out at a gaming con. That's right, Doug, he is. But when you get people really trying to hunt and get up there and then you start PvPing and trying to take each other out, taking their factions out, you're going to really find that this game really stands out even more, even more. And this was a solo venture. And, and you know, you're just dealing with, 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 the, with all the cards and the events and stuff like that. You're not dealing with somebody else coming at you. So it's really, really just a fantastic uh, thing. Everything you do for board, oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. That really, that really means a, a, a lot. But I wanted to show everybody the solo variant here. And, and you know, I would play it all the way through. But like I said, uh, around 6, we had, had some things. Bless you. But, no, you're fine. Um, but I also want them to see the other aspect of, of, of people playing against each other and how you get sucked into this game. Uh, there is no other post-nuclear game, a post-apocalyptic game, as good as this and uh, that's 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 my claim of frame as a matter of fact i should just do a top 10 of post-apocalyptic games and just just crown put the crown on you put the crown right on you john great job fantastic job i love how all the weapons everything is just uh, you know there, there there's no there's no point where you kind of scratch your head and go oh this is broken this is just well thought out i can't see what i, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with next and I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, Sith Knight, definitely about solo play. Well, there's two versions of solo play. You can play the race yourself to see how quick you can get to one of the win conditions. Or you can play against the game itself. So, brilliantly done. That's all I can say. All right. That's it. I can say no more. We're at 6 o'clock. We're going to end this hour and a half of just real real goodness. I'm so glad I, I was able to do this for these guys. And I apologize to Fallen, Fallen Dominion for not getting this done sooner. 
uh, we've had some ex some really standout situations and I apologize to them with all my heart um, but this was one game that I wanted to make sure that we got in like I said uh, we are going to try to get something that we were supposed to get done and something new each week so guys thank you so much and until next time, I'm Rob Warren, and we will see you soon. Go out, buy this game.